Hey, it's the BNPR show, number two, a celebration of stylized rendering. On today's show, Guilty Gear Xrds Secrets Revealed, Organic Looking Freestyle Lines, and Beautiful Hair in Honkai Impact 3rd. Cat Ninjin made a tutorial on how to make freestyle lines look more organic. It is in Japanese, but you can still sort of make sense on how she did it. The goals are to number one, make the line taper at both ends. Don't taper it to zero though. Pens and pencils don't have lines that taper to a zero thickness. Number two, vary the thickness along the line, but don't overdo it, or else the thickness will look weird on some of the shorter lines. To do this, you'll need to go to the Freestyle Line Style panel, the Line Thickness tab, select a long stroke modifier. It's very hidden. After you've added the modifier, change the mapping from linear to curve. Set the min and max line thickness value, and now play with the thickness ramp. You can control the thickness by going up and down. The leftmost and rightmost are the actual ends of the line. Line chaining may break in unpredictable locations, so make sure that both ends of your line have the same thickness. That way, your line doesn't suddenly become too thick or too thin when line chaining breaks. And that is it. You can find similar tricks in our The Many Secrets of NPR Part 1 mini course, or in the Freestyle Level Up course. You can find these courses in our store, and there's a link in the show notes. Here's a tip by Mandala Motion on YouTube. Use your 2D skills from other software to make 3D artwork. If it is done well enough, it can create very stylized art. Do not neglect these 2D fundamentals like color, shading, silhouette, positive and negative shapes, and perspective. In NPR, the border between 2D and 3D is very blurry. Honkai Impact 3rd is an action mobile game about a team of powerful female Valkyrie warriors fighting Honkai beasts. Our main interest this time is on the hair design and shading. The hair design is mostly three main parts with an optional fourth. One, the front bangs. This can be very big or very small. Two, the sides. This can be on top or below the front bangs. Three, the back part which can be one part with an optional fourth part, such as braids, bun, or just a long flowing mane. There are also the same hairstyles for the chibi characters. The different parts of the hair are way more prominent, but that you'll have to see for yourself. You can go pretty crazy after understanding these designs. It's kind of a mind blow knowing how many styles you can give them. And now for more hair, it's shading time. The hair shading is very complex. One, a grayscale threshold to make the fake ambient occlusion. The grayscale threshold is probably done using vertex color. This threshold is used as a blending factor for lit and shadow. Two, some areas like the mane towards the neck are permanently shaded in the shadow area. Three, specular highlights are done using a texture map. The texture map is a gradient map for variation when light hits from different angles using min or max, depending on the texture map, to make a good looking cutoff. Four, also notice the light rig. This is to avoid the shadow and lit area occurring in the middle of the hair mesh. Now for the bonus point. If you have a sharp eye, you'll see that they're using half Lambert for the base shading. Of course, there are some vertex normal editing to fix some of the problematic areas. Go download the game for Android or iOS and play it for the hair. Animating Peter Porker is by Video Vertigo on YouTube. He shows the animating process and the final result. The best part of the process is how he makes the animation loop seamless. It's pretty cool to see how he does it. 313 Experiments is a music video by Jefferson Nascimento using the music provided by the Suicide Laboratory Band. All the animations are done in Blender. There are many NPR experiments in this music video so you might learn a thing or two. Go watch it. Now it's time to celebrate NPR Artwork of the Month.
two artworks of this month have very different feels to them. The one by Emma Coach, Left, uses a texture map to the screen space. The one made by Choco Boflo, Right, uses a textured UV map to the surface of the mesh. The one by Emma feels very 2D, while Choco Boflo's feels 3D. Depending on your desired outcome, you may select one from the other. There really is no right or wrong style. This is a little old, but newly discovered by a fellow NPR artist, Pierre Schiller. The slide is about the process and design of the characters in Guilty Gear Exerd by Junya Motomora of Arc System Works. The slides are in Japanese, but we've summed it up in the comments on our Facebook group. Some of the topics discussed in the slides are 1. Modeling for style and shading. That is to say, modeling with shading and a 2D result in mind. One very striking thing is to not model based only on a front and a side view. The presenter encourages rigging while modeling so that you can model from more angles. 2. Suppress and simplify facial features. Suppressing means to really just simplify from the actual anatomy, also for shading and animation reasons. 3. Asymmetry, everything. The one thing that is discussed in the slides is how eyes, when viewed from a three-quarter view, should not have the same mirrored mesh. Instead, the 2D projection from the anime will produce a more powerful and emotional impact. And vertex normal editing on everything. I guess you could have guessed that last one. Vertex normal editing is very important. On the last show, we talked a bit about making a parallax interior. This time, Magrillia made a hardcore version, super advanced. So advanced that it hits the 16 layer texture limit for Eevee. So go play with those blend files. By the way, all this blend file sharing is super awesome. Again, there's a link in the show notes. The show is almost over, but you can go to these places for way, way more NPR. If you like what you see, please consider supporting us via Patreon. And now, calling all indie game devs with NPR artwork. Come feature your games in this show. If you know fellow game devs, bring them on. Use the show's contact form. Once again, all links are in the show notes. Before we go, there's one last question. Do you know the algorithm for the Half Lambert Shader?